Hello, this is Commander Arcanic, and in this video I'm going to explain everything you need to know about the helium rich gas giants and helium gas giants in the game. Systems that these gas giants spawn in can have some pretty wacky orbital configurations. This right here is a good example. Now, the thing about helium rich gas giants is that they only are created if the helium percentage in the system is above a certain threshold, which is around 30%. In this case, the percentage of helium in the atmosphere is 32.3%. But if we look at the other helium rich gas giants, they appear to have the exact same helium percentage. All of them. Even if they aren't even labeled as being helium rich. The higher percentage of helium in the system, the higher the likelihood that the more gas giants will be labeled as being helium rich. Now, what do they look like? Some helium rich gas giants are reminiscent of the other class of gas giants, but are more distinct, having a variety of different colors in their color palette, and having more exotic cloud patterns that make them distinguishable from the FSS and on the system map. Remember how I said that the percentage of helium in a system is the same? That is true for all stars sharing the mass code in the voxel they are found in. A voxel is a cubed region of space that contains stars. The stars within them are labeled according to which box they occupy and the total mass within that system. It's been found that if you stumble upon a system that has gas giants with a higher percentage of helium, over 30%, then all systems with the same mass code in the box will have a similar percentage of helium in them. The example shown on screen is within the DHE sector in the PPPV voxel with the mass code D3. The numbers at the end designate each star system sharing the same mass code. All these star systems have a chance to spawn helium rich gas giants. This is the distribution of helium rich systems across the galaxy. The one thing that is obvious here is the gaping hole near the galactic center. No reason has been found yet as to why this occurs. But remember this because we'll come back to it later. Now, I've been seeing the labels helium rich gas giant and helium gas giant used colloquially, but they are different in atmospheric composition and rarity. So, now that we've gone over helium rich gas giants, let's start on helium gas giants my favorite planet type, which are significantly more rare than any other planet in the game, even Earth-like worlds. On screen now is the System 52 Hercules, one of three known systems in the game to host helium gas giants. As you can see, most reminiscent of the Class 4 gas giants, the first one looking like a Class 5. But I wanted to pay attention to the atmospheric composition. Unlike helium-rich gas giants' atmospheres, they are almost completely composed of helium. And also like helium rich gas giants, all of them are labeled helium giants and share the same atmospheric composition. They also have interesting cloud formation as well, but that is where the relationship stops. In front of you now is the only known procedurally generated helium giant. It looks like a water giant at first because of the blue atmospheric ring, but there is something peculiar. Checking out its composition, we see something a little fishy. 99% nitrogen, 0.1% helium. Clearly, this is a bug planet. Looking at its gaseous neighbor, we see that the system is not helium rich, so there must be another mechanism at work that creates these bug planets. But we don't know what that is. This planet is literally one of a kind, with its peculiar atmospheric composition. But have we checked the entire box of the system is in? Yes, extensively. No other anomalous bodies. Oh, what about the region? There's a funny part. <laughs> look at this map. Let's take a look at the hole. Don't see it? Let's zoom in. Yeah, okay, there it is. That's where it is. What is it doing there? Makes no sense. But I suppose it's a bug, so it's not supposed to make sense, is it? Well, until we find another helium giant, we'll have to settle with the data we have now on them which is not much. I still recommend visiting this place. There is one landable moon they can take some pretty cool shots of, but other than that, that's basically it. It just looks like your old run-of-the-mill class 1 gas giant. In my opinion, it is well worth it to go out of your way and visit it so you can get it on your, uh, your journal so it can be copied into EDSM to say, hey, I found one, but until then, this would be the one of 15 known. And that's what I like about Elite. The Stellar Forge that generates these systems can have some hiccups, some more extreme than others. 
We still have lots of questions though. Were they ever supposed to be implemented into the game? What criteria does the Stellar Forge follow to create these objects? Are there more waiting out there to be discovered? Well, with 0.05% of the galaxy discovered so far, I don't doubt there is. The real question is, who will be the first to find it?